This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today, my first YOLO Park. Megatron AMK Pro series. Uh, this looks to be the very cartoon uh, accurate version. And if you look in the back, it kind of does have a very cartoon vibe. So. I'm excited for this because honestly I find it really hard to find a good Megatron. I do have the Earthrise one, I have the um, Jinbao, but it's a little too small. So you can see it right there, uh, right there. And uh, I'll do a size comparison. This one looks uh, bigger, might be too big for the scale of my collection, but I'm still going to display that because uh, so far, just this looks amazing. And there's accessories with it. I've never purchased a uh, YOLO Park. It's my son, uh, my oldest, who got this for me for my birthday. And uh, it arrived late, uh, as most of my gifts do. So, yeah, not a problem. Really happy to have this guy. Looks really good uh, so far. Uh, so let's uh, open him up and do the uh, assembly and a review. But before I do that, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, the DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. summons Megatron then it pleases me to be the first all right huge box very big uh, the box did arrive damaged uh, even the brown protector around it was damaged uh, unfortunately that's too bad uh, but it happens but uh, I don't think anything inside is broken so you have the warning Hasbro authentic transformers uh, AMK Pro series nice uh, shot of Megatron very nice drawing die cast I'm excited for that so yeah and then you have the I guess the third box because you had the brown one you have this one uh, nice outline of Megatron with the earth in hand uh, and that's pretty much it the con logo all right let's open this up uh, I already removed the tape so we do have the instructions we do have this let's uh, remove oh there's another box underneath oh with all the accessories all right Okay, first the instruction, I just want to show you, I've never looked at those. And... Oh, they look decent enough. You know, it's not really, I'd say it's not transformation instruction, it's really just how to assemble everything. So, it looks, is it? No, it's just thick paper. There's. I really thought there was going to be like many layers, but no, it's... Uh, one uh, eight by 14 all right and then you have the accessories let's remove the plastic cover you have uh, the sword from the movie I think uh, you have a Decepticon logo fusion cannon the cannon from his back uh, the pistol probably yeah the same pistol in the movie Uh, the flail from the pilot My hunger for power! and then this 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 and this all seem to be parts for the stand which looks really good i like the gun metal already yeah interesting stuff and then let's remove this there you go 
we have oh one face okay there was a tape over that and it didn't uh, stick but you have feet chest the key to vector sigma on this world the key to vector sigma de-energizes matter the hips the head two faces uh, some I guess shoulders and then you have the arms whoa and one hand just fell down so that's all right let me uh, so that's really cool it looks really good and well they say die cast but I mean that leg is not die cast so that's uh, this one's yeah there's a little bit of metal on it so all right let's uh, take these out of the box all right let's start with i guess the stand just to clear some room nice uh, gunmetal uh, nice color you have oh do i have to unscrew this to move this i don't think so. no it's just really tight it moves nice very hollow and you have three ports to plug it so i'm gonna guess let's say this one like this and then you have this adapter i'm guessing if you want to plug it somewhere oh actually no you do need it because that's also a female port so like this nope this way and then there you go so that can move things around looks good the accessories for Megatron you have a beautiful flail articulated in four spot looks the part looks real good clear plastic doesn't appear to have any hollowness I like that I mean you can't do the spin we'll see who's ready for the scrappy jerk that's what you are well I guess you can Stop motion people could do it. Uh, the turret looks good. There's a bit of you know shiny thing. Maybe there's a light action. I don't know. I'll check the instruction. Nice fusion cannon. A little bit of the battle damage. Looks real good. Huh. There seems to be a little uh, light inside. Can you? I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. You have the gun from the movie. Uh, in just gunmetal color. Should be something else, but we're not gonna complain. This is what killed Optimus Prime. The sword looks really good. Uh, does this move? Nope. Well, I I'm not gonna force it. I don't know if you can disassemble it, but. Clear plastic, nice energy feel, nice lightsaber. Oh, sorry, Lucas. And then you have this is the ICAS. This is the key to Vector Sigma. Really nice accessory. Um, hopefully, the hand is able to hold it properly because there's no port. And then you have Megatron himself, which I'm not going to review part by part except maybe the hands because there is articulation at the base of the thumb but there is no other articulation but at the end the hands the fingers you do have two points of articulation and that's pretty cool all right and anything else well okay this appears to contain some die cast like this part here feels colder to the hand uh, so do the connectors here but everything else is plastic. This is all plastic. The feet, the toes are die casts. And that, I'm trying to feel for cold. Maybe the top part here, the sides are plastic. And the back is all plastic. Uh, for the arms, this part here feels metal like the uh, the elbow but the, the the bicep plastic 
Shoulders. All plastic. Yep. Uh, this is plastic. Nice battle damage. I'm not gonna use that. The oh, the head is plastic. And you can remove faces to have the very serious look of Megatron. There appears to be a switch. Maybe there is. Oh, yeah. They tell you that you can add a battery. I don't have any batteries for this, but you have a less serious face. So, I guess this is serious. The other one was angry. And then you have Smiley Megatron. There you go. It's almost as beautiful as a smile as Santa. And then this you have, yeah, maybe the chest pieces die cast. And now everything else feels plastic. So it's not a fully die cast figure. All right, so just before I, I do the assembly, this is how you get a battery inside uh, here. It doesn't show you, well, not on these pages, maybe the others. Uh, no, it doesn't tell you for the uh, the gun how to light it up. Uh, arm bent. They show you all the point of articulations, but yeah, not getting the uh, instruction how to make the cannon light up. Maybe it's just a switch. Oh, it is a switch. That button here, press it. So I'm guessing I need to. Find out. Oh, this is the spot for the battery, so yeah. I'm not gonna do that though. I don't have batteries, and uh, yeah. So, alright, assembly. with the assembly so as you saw very easily interchangeable chest plate this one is die cast I'm gonna use this one just for fun uh, like I said uh, you can switch the heads I'm probably gonna keep the uh, this one is like uh, sometimes they mess up the smiling or it's not really a smile but you know they, they do have a hard time making this face look good they nailed it. That's amazing. I'm gonna put the cannon in. Come on. There you go. Ah. Oh. All right. This is the best Megatron ever. Okay. Now the accessory. I just wanna. Well, let's review just the figure itself. And then I'll display some accessories. Um, very nice head sculpt. Uh, you have different faces. Uh, serious and angry and smiling. Uh, 360. Nice ball joint. Looks up just a little bit. Looks down. Oh, quite a lot. I'm guessing, well, not because of transformation, but... Why, why would they do that? Okay, well, anyway, looks good. You do have a nice shoulder joint. You have your Ferris wheel, no problem. Um, I was wrong. I thought this was the uh, the forearms, but yeah, that's the uh, connection. Uh, well, the, that's the actual bicep. This is the forearm. Uh, you do have a rotation here because of, well, you do have your rotation, but it's kind of hard to do with the cannon. Uh, so let's use the other arm. There you go. You have a nice elbow, 
Uh, it's not a double joint though, it's single joint, uh, you know, here. And then you have your rotation at the hand. It, uh, it does have a, uh, you know, this, whatever motion is, back and forth. Uh, I showed the articulation for the fingers. Uh, so you have, actually what I didn't mention is that these three are stuck together. So that's one joint. So you only, you only have like the thumb, the index, and the three others that move. You have a side-by-side -side like this, a teapot. Like Deluxe says, you do have your merry-go-round, no problem. Uh, if you raise the arm a little bit, you do have, well, I guess if you lift the skirt on each side, you do have a gorgeous Johnny Cage. You have your tie rotation. The, yeah, you could say double knee bend. Uh, nice. Well, again, if you lift this, oh, it doesn't lift. Can I turn this and lift this more? No. So you don't have much of a kick forward. Uh, and in the back, you don't have a kick back. Well, you do, but it's not like straight back. And because of the joint and you do have your like toe tilt. Uh, and then you have a nice ankle rocker on each side. Very beautifully articulated figure. Uh, paint application and stuff looks amazing. The, uh, the silver gray everywhere looks really good. Uh, it could be a little, uh, you know, paler uh, or less metallic if you want to have a true cartoon look. A uh, bit of battle damage. I probably would have preferred without it, uh, but it's still it's well done. You have the red at the, uh, the bicep. Let me. Uh, there you go. You have the red here. You have the red on the side, just like uh, the cartoon. You have the Vader chest. Uh, you know abs. Uh, looks good. Autobot uh, Decepticon logo. Uh, I like the uh, the hands. Uh, skirts are really well done cleans up real nice on the back. You know, there's no well, there's no cleaning up really uh, There's no transformation. So no hollowness nice detail Right here uh, under the arm. I really dig this And big feet, you know solid uh, The legs feel hollow though like it's just there's no die cast in them uh, but nice model and the paint you know, some detail, some rust, although they're rust proof, but there's a bit of rust detail, or maybe it's just mud. So, yeah, fantastic model kit. Uh, very simple to assemble, really. Uh, my wife's like, oh, I thought it was going to be like that uh, Grandizer figure you have, or uh, that uh, little red one you got with Metroplex, uh, Windblade. And I'm like, no, 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 this is just, it's simpler assembly, and... It's just pure fun. But really, they could just sell it like that. You know, I guess they're just saving cost on putting the stuff together uh, at the end of the assembly line. But I, I dig it. The details are good. Cartoon accuracy is good. This is this is a very, very good megaphone. And then for the stand, uh, if you want to do some flight pose, you can do that. I don't know how solid it's going to be, though. This here, all right, hold on. This here is extremely tight, so it's hard to move quickly. But let's say I want to do a flight pose with Megatron. Can I do it? Yeah. Well, yeah. You can. You stand, but I mean, you can't. This is not strong enough to lean forward. Because. Yeah, and the stand is not heavy enough to balance it, so maybe won't use a stand. All right, so this is more of an MP scale. Let's just do. Uh, I mean, you have. I don't know where this logo is supposed to go. You can have him hold the gun in this hand. So hold it, hold it. And 
Oh. It's not a fixed port, right? So... Oh, the, the thumb doesn't go down from there. Oh, okay. It's an odd choice, but... There you go. Okay, he doesn't... I don't think he's holding the gun really well, but... It works. Have the sword. It's probably gonna be a similar deal. Actually, he's holding this one much better. There we go. That looks good. Uh, how about the key to Vector Sigma? Heavier piece. Can he hold it? Uh, you can put it in his finger if you want to... Well, actually the thumb, because with the fingers, they're going to... Uh, you can't fold it with the fingers inside. So that's one way to hold it. But you can always uh, put it directly in his hand. And... Or not. I'm sure I can do this. There you go. And now for the flail, you actually have to remove the hand. And there you go. Oh, you can remove the arm here. That's interesting. You can remove the uh, forearm protector. Okay. And there you go. You have Megatron hitting stuff with the flail. It looks really good. Okay, but I suck at posing, so, you know. If you want to see good pictures, Deluxe Baldwin and Sardo Numspad, Mark Cosplay, or his son Luke. Luke Forza on Instagram. These guys know how to take pictures. All right. Let's uh, clean this up and... All right, this is annoying. Clean this up and give you uh, some size comparison. Let's start with my boy Sunstreaker. So I think that scales pretty good. Uh, Sunstreaker being a deluxe or you know a, a war class, a little shorter than uh, Megatron. So I think that scales well. That's the Jinbao uh, Megatron, and I did enjoy quite well the. Um, very cartoon accurate uh, version of this toy. But it's just a little short for my collection. So, But in gun mode, he's gonna look pretty good uh, on the shelf. And with Earthrise Megatron. And I mean, it doesn't even compare. I mean, this is a, you know, an, an okay figure, uh, but the cartoon accuracy isn't there at all because of the tank treads. Uh, the missing turret, this is actually Siege Soundwave's weapon. And uh, the fact that this is a spear rather than a sword. Uh, it's, you know, it's just, it, it, eh. I like this one way better. Uh, but funny story, both of them are from my son. In the end, really happy with my first YOLO park. Uh, thanks Alex for this great toy. This is looking great on the shelf. I do recommend this product if you want to have very cartoon accurate uh, representation of characters. Uh, even if they don't transform, they're still pretty fun to play with. Uh, pose and uh, you know with all the accessory you can recreate a lot of scenes probably a good thing for uh, stop-motion animator unless you really want your uh, stop-motion uh, characters to transform thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment love reading those keep coming back after more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care